Spanish University's online open day with Chanat Mission. So yeah, without further ado, let's start the event. And I will introduce myself. My name is Nadia from Chanat Missions. I hope all of you can uh, hear my voice very clearly. And I welcome you all to join the second Chinese University's online open day with Chanat Mission. So next up is the agenda for today's session. And then a little bit about Chanat Mission. So basically, we as an organizer, what are uh, what is Chanat Missions? So Chanat Missions is an award-winning platform for international students to apply to Chinese universities. And then we partner with over 100 of top Chinese universities and we have over 100,000 registered students on our platform. In addition, our office is located in Beijing, China. So in the past uh, few years, in the few years back, our office has won several awards, for example, the Holland IQ China Attack 100. And then we are also awarded the Chaoyang Phoenix Grant by the Chaoyang government in Beijing in 2019 and also in 2020. And then a little bit about the team behind China Admission. So basically, uh, the China Admissions team is a multicultural, multicultural team from various backgrounds and countries. So for example, I'm Nadia from Indonesia, and I have my colleagues from other countries as well. Like my colleague Didier Frank is here as well joining the session, who will help uh, answering your questions later on on the Q&A session. And then our team members were also former students at Chinese universities. And here are some of our partner universities. And some of our partner universities have joined the previous online open session, for example, BIT and Jiangsu University. And those who will join today's session are uh, Huachun University of Science and Technology, Wuhan University, and others that I will explain to you after the, this slide. So the format for today's event, so basically each university will give a 12 minutes presentation and then there will be also a live Q&A session with uh, each of the universities and my colleague Didier Frank will also help to answer your questions on the Q&A session. And then the university will introduce about the programs, what it is like to on the campus, about the admission process and about the scholarship information. And lastly, uh, I will explain to you on how to apply to Chanat to Chinese universities on China admissions platform because the application deadline for September 2020 intake is coming up real quick. So here are the universities that will be joining today's uh, online open day. So there will be nine universities that will be joining today's online open day. So here is the schedule. So first one is going to be Sino British College and then followed by uh, sorry, followed by Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. And then next up will be Into China at Nankai University and Huachong University of Science and Technology and then TICC, Hutong School, uh, Beijing University of Chemical Technology. And last but not least will be that Mandarin. So without further ado, let's welcome Jason Lee from uh, the Sino British College located in Shanghai. And Jason Lee will give the presentation to you guys. So I hope you enjoy the 12 minute presentation from Jason and get all the useful information from SBC. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Now I will sharing my screen. Sure. Hi all, I'm Jason Lee from the Central British College. Central British College is located in central Shanghai. In 2006, the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology cooperated with nine UK partner universities and uh, set up the Central British College. Central British College is a new innovative cooperation system. The key question about this innovative system is how can this innovative system can benefit our international students? I will answer these questions later in my presentation. Before my officially beginning of this presentation, I will let you know some details or some uh, little history about the SBC. Although SBC was started in 2006, the whole campus is actually have, has been built in 1916. As you can see in this picture, the whole campus of SBC is heritage architecture in Shanghai. I will show some pictures. The first picture is initial uh, historic picture of the campus. And now this is the modern campus. This is the library. And uh, this is another picture about the library. 
Okay. Uh, after a brief, uh, after a brief introduction about SBC's history, I would like to share the program that we can provide to international students. Basically, we provide two kinds of program. The first one is dual degree program, and the second one is single degree program. Before the more details in, was being introduced, I will to give you some details about the, these numbers. You may have question about what's mean of four plus zero and what's mean of two plus two. Actually, as I mentioned before, SPC was a brand new system of cooperation between university, between, between Chinese university and UK universities. So actually we can regard SBC as a UK university located in central Shanghai. Our system of bachelor degree is also the same, same as the UK university. So the first year in SBC is in, same as international foundation year. And the second year in SBC is same as the international degree year, to, year, to, year one. So if students can meet the entry requirement of SBC year one, then they have to finish four years study in SBC. And if students can meet the entry requirement of SBC year two, which is the international degree year, they can spend only three years to finish all bachelor degree study. So that's why we have four plus zero and we also have three plus zero. Now I will give you more details about dual degree and the single degree. Okay, the first program I would like to introduce is the dual degree program. As you can see, actually this program is pretty easy to understand. Four majors and after four years study, and you will achieve both bachelor degree from the University of Shanghai for Science and Technology and the UK Partner University. Here are four interesting points about this dual degree program. First, Students has to meet the entry requirement of SBC year one, which is the international foundation year. And then you have to finish four years, totally four years in central, in Shanghai, SBC. The most important thing is before your graduation, students is required to achieve HSK4. If not, you can only get a UK bachelor degree but not both degree from Chinese University and the UK Partner University. The second program I would like to introduce is single degree four plus zero. As you can see in the previous slides, single degree can divide into two parts. The first part is four plus zero and the second part is two plus two. First one, four plus zero. What's, what's the difference between the single degree four plus zero and the dual degree program? Actually, this, the, there are only two differences between these two kinds of program. First, if students choose the single degree program, they can only get a one degree from the UK Partner University. For example, a student applied for the business management before, after graduation, that student will get the bachelor degree from the Sheffield Hallam University. The second difference about the, uh, between single degree, single degree and the dual degree is that uh, students doesn't need to have spent all four years in SBC. If they can meet the entry requirement of SBC year two, which is the beginning of the international degree year, they can di directly enter into SBC year two and uh, finish three years study, they will achieve a bachelor degree. So basically, uh, is, uh, besides the entry requirement and uh, the degrees that the students will achieve, there are no other differences. The next one about the single degree is two plus two. This is interesting. And actually, in my opinion, this is the most special or innovative way we are different with the other Chinese universities. These nine UK universities provide more than 37 courses to our students. I will show you the detailed list.
as you can see in this PDF, we have nine UK partner universities course list, which means, for example, business management studies. Students, when students study in SBC, they will have a uh, average grade and they will also have some special uh, off-campus activities. And this university lists a detailed requirement about when you want to apply for this UK university after two years in SBC, what kind of requirement you have to achieve. As you can see, if you reach to the average grade of 60, and you can also achieve a English requirement of EAP as overall grade C, you can successfully apply for the business management studies. The whole list contains all nine UK part partner universities courses. So I would say all of these courses, once students meet the entry requirement, after two years studying in SBC, they will go to their purpose school. As you can see, all of these two programs, EU degree program and the single degree, pro degree program are easily to understand. And the most interesting thing is you can freely choose your own, uh, choose your own pathway. If you want to study four years in, in China, in Shanghai, and to know the Chinese culture better, I would recommend you the dual degree program. However, if you are more interested in the uh, culture difference of different culture between China and the UK, I would suggest you to I think of the single degree two plus two program, two plus two program. The last part I would, I would like to uh, introduce is about our international students. Each year we have about 30 to 40 international students from Southeast Asia, Europe, Africa, North Asia, and uh, North America. And uh, all, as we all know, this year due to the coronavirus, um, not all international students can arrive in China because of the policy. However, I believe in the future, this number of international students will increase continually. I will show you some uh, pictures about our international students in campus and off campus activity. This is a music festival and this is in class. This is a cultural festival. Okay, finally, I know maybe some students have some questions about uh, tuition fee, about scholarship, about our accommodation, and more details about uh, kinds of programs. I would like to give you more suggestions and details about these questions later in my personal contact way. Uh, I have WeChat, and you can also contact me with email. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Jason, for your time and for your presentation. Thanks a lot. So if, uh, I think we can move on to the next presenter, right? So the next one will be the Tiang University of Science and Technology in Hangzhou. Hello, everyone. Can you see my screen now? Yes, I can see your screen. So okay. yeah, I think you can just start this your screen. Uh, good day, everyone. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to introduce my university, Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. Today, I will divide my divide my presentation into three parts. The first is the overview of Zhejiang Province and Hangzhou City, and then 
understand the introduction about our university, and then I will introduce the international programs of our university. Our university locates in Hangzhou. Uh, it is the capital city of Zhejiang province on the co eastern coast of China, and uh, Zhejiang province ranks number four in China in terms of GDP with electron mechanical industry, textile, chemical industry, food, and construction materials as a supporting industries. And here is some pictures of our beautiful city, Hangzhou. It is uh, the best tourism city in China, and it also has a very long history. Uh, here is the picture of the West Lake, the most famous scenic spot in Hangzhou. And here is also some pictures of Hangzhou city, very beautiful. And then I will make a brief introduction about uh, Zhejiang University of Science and Technology. Our university was established in 1980. So this year 2020 happens to be the 40th anniversary of our university. Uh, here, I want to invite all of you to come to our university this year to celebrate the 40th birthday with us and join the anniversary, uh, uh, different kinds of uh, celebrations of our, our university. Uh, as for the scale, now our university has two campuses. One is Xiaohehshan campus, here it is the campus, and and the other is Anzi campus. Here, this is the gate of our Anzi campus. Here are some pictures. Uh, this one is the newly uh, completed uh, student activity center. So we will uh, hold different kinds of student acti activities in this building. And this one, the third one is the canteen of Anzi campus. As for the scale, now we have more than uh, 18,000 Chinese students studying in our university, while the number of international students is 2,354. Uh, 2, and for the faculty, now we have more than 1,000 full-time teachers. Uh, among them, 32% uh, have overseas experience. And now we have 14 uh, schools uh, in different kinds of specializations. You can see the list here. And our university adopts an application-oriented teaching mode. So if you take the engineering program of our university, you will have two practice masters which accounts for 30% of the credits of your whole credit earned during your study here. And our teaching mode is a combination of modular teaching, online teaching, and we have also very close cooperation with uh, different industries. As a result, our university ranks top 10 uh, in terms of the comprehensive rating of employment rate satisfactory rate and also the payment of graduates and after years of cultivation of international programs our university uh, uh, has become one of the first batch universities of quality credit accreditation on international and international student education and also we are one of the first batch member university of the excellent and the new education uh, program of the Ministry of Education. Also, we are the pilot institution of Chinese-German cooperation in cultiv cultivating uh, application-oriented talent designated by the Ministry of Education. And then I will make an introduction about the international programs. Now, Oh, we are running 144 cooperation programs with 125 international uh, institutions in the following six directions. 
and among all of our international programs, uh, the Sino-Germany cooperation uh, stands out with over now over now 80 cooperation programs with 29 German partner institutions, and we rank top two in China in terms of the number of cooperation programs with German partners. Here are some pictures of some German leaders visiting our university. And in terms of the number of international student education, in 2019, the number of international student, degree students, ranks number five in Zhejiang province with uh, 1,475. And the number of international students, we rank number four with 2,354. And our Student, international student comes from over 100 countries. Here are some uh, faces of our international student. And now we offer nine master degree programs in English taught. Here is the list. Uh, they are in uh, the field of uh, engineering, science, and management. And also we offer 12 bachelor degree programs, English taught bachelor de degree programs. And here I want to make a special mention about the last three, robotics engineering, vehicle engineering, and uh, data science and big data technology. They are three new majors we offer this year. So um, this, they are the reflection of the booming industry worldwide. You are very welcome to join our program. And we also uh, offer different kinds of scholarships I will uh, introduce later. And for, we also offer German taught programs in civil engineering. Uh, and it, ha it has no requirement for German language proficiency. Uh, the same as the German taught program um, the French taught program in data science and big data, te big data technology and civil engineering also has no requirement for French language proficiency. Uh, apart, apart from the English taught program and the German French taught program, we also have some distinctive programs for our international students. Here uh, is the list. And here is the fees of our programs are uh, all the Chinese taught programs at bachelor bachelor level except the arts programs are 15,000 per year and the English taught programs related to engineering and bachelor level is 18,000 per year. Uh, English taught program related to economics and management at bachelor level is 16,000. Here is the list, you can make a screenshot. And here is the scholarship we offer to our international students. They are Chinese government scholarship, Confucius Institute scholarship, Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship, ZUST scholarship for outstanding new student, and ZUST scholarship for outstanding post and undergraduate. Uh, Zhejiang Provincial Government Scholarship is a one-time award with amount of 30,000 for master degree programs and 20,000 for bachelor degree programs. And we also have four levels of scholarships for outstanding new student of ZUST. Here is it. And also, uh, Dormitory and uh, canteen are very important for studying out, out of your own country. Here are some pictures. So I think if you come to our uni university, you will have very cozy life here. And we also offer different kinds of cultural activities for our international students. You can see the pictures. And we also organized our international students to join the volunteer programs. 
here is the international cultural exhibition pictures. And we also very concerned about the uh, uh, life of our student after the graduation. Here is the picture. Uh, our graduate, he was the first overseas student to receive the personal affair residence permit in Hangzhou since the implementation of new policy in 2017. And we have uh, signed an agreement on the, on, to help our students to start their own business in Hangzhou. Uh, if you are interested in our programs, you are very welcome to contact us uh, in, through email by calling us or uh, by visiting our websites. Here is the information. You can also make a screenshot. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher, for uh, sharing information about ZAS. Thank you so much. So I think the information is very, very useful for international students who want to study in ZAS in September 2020 intake especially. And thank yeah, you. I think we can, thank you so much for your time. So I think mm -hmm. we can go on to the next presenter, which is from Into China at Nankai University. Hello, could you hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear Hello. you perfectly. Okay, uh, let me see how to share my screen. Mm. Did you see, yeah. could you see my uh, screen? Yes, I can see your screen now. Okay, thank you. Great. Hello, everyone. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. This is Ting Zhen from InterChina, Nankai University. Um, today, I would like to share some information about our university. Uh, what is Nankai? Uh, where, is, uh, where is Nankai located? And a little bit about this, uh, the Tianjin city. So let's start from the introduction. So Nankai University is founded in 1919, one of the oldest universities in China, and also one of the uh, MOE lead universities. Um, we just have our one, 100 years anniversary last year. Um, Nankai is a research-oriented comprehensive university in both um, 985, and projects 211. So let me introduce a little bit about these two program. Uh, 911 program is a project aimed at enhancing research standard of the national high level universities. Um, there are only around 112 universities in this project. And 985 project aimed to support China key universities to be the world leading ones and boast the Chinese government and local government allocates large amounts of funding for our research, building facilities um, such as research center, holding international conference, attract world renowned visiting scholars. There are only 39 member universities in 985 projects. And Nankai University is also a level A university of China double first class initiative. Um, this program also shows the ambition of, the, of China to develop the universities into the world-class ones. We also have a extensive international links to over 300 renowned universities in the world. Last year, on our 100 years anniversary, the university announced to establish the Nankai Oxford Joint Research Institute. The initiative to see Nankai's join hands with Oxford to achieve breakthroughs in frontier research in fields such as biomedicine and etc. Before this collaboration, we already have some built some joint research centers such as Nankai Birmingham or Nankai Glasgow, 
um, the programs we are going to introduce later today for you uh, is from Nankai Glasgow Joint Graduate School. Um, we, Nankai now has more than 27,000 students. 3,000 out of those students are international students. Um, they are starting their um, bachelor's or master's or doctoral degrees uh, in our 26 different schools. This is the ranking for your uh, information, or you could just look at the QS uh, rankings in the website. Uh, we have three campus. Uh, this is the main one, Bali Thai campus. All three campuses are all in Tianjin City, different region. Um, the, Nankai, uh, the Bali Thai campus, which is located in the middle of the city, 20 minutes from the Tianjin train station, 40 minutes from the Tianjin International Airport, um, is around 1.2 million square meters big. Uh, it's a quite large one. Uh, we have nearly everything in the campus, gym, several, um, libraries, banks, um, and markets, supermarkets, you could buy nearly everything from the campus. And the other one is a new one, just built several years. Um, this one's a little bit far away from the city center, around 40 minutes from the old campus by bus, but there are quite a lot um, shuttle bus between these two campus. Um, this is a new one uh, with very good facilities. Um, so you need to check uh, which schools in which campus. Uh, next part is a little mm -hmm. bit about Tianjin City. Uh, you might never heard about this city, but uh, you could see from the map, Tianjin is in this area, which is very close to the capital city, Beijing. So if from this big map, Beijing is around here. Um, so around 30 minutes by the bullet chain, so if you want to go to the Great Wall or you want to go to the uh, Forbidden City, you can just go by the chain and come back in the same day. <clears throat> Tianjin is uh, in the middle of, kind of middle, no northern of China, uh, which is a postal city, a coastal city. Uh, Beijing is Beijing, Tianjin and Hebei, these three places, we normally call it capital economic regions. It's not because it's just close with each other, but also because it shares normally the economic benefits or policies. Uh, Tianjin is the top five largest cities in China. And also Tianjin is one of the four municipality directly under the central government. The other three are Beijing city, Shanghai city, and Chongqing, which is in the Southwest of China. Um, here are a picture of the city. Um, although it's a big city, but it's actually uh, quite cheap in uh, living expenses. As you can see, um, around 30% lower than Shanghai city. Temperatures are good, uh, not very hot in the summer, around 30 or 35. Uh, there's not much rain, uh, not very cold in the winter, uh, minus eight or seven, and sometimes it snows. Um, food. Um, it's in the north of China, so you could try uh, nearly everything you could see from the TV in the city because it's famous of um, delicious foods. And you can also buy everything you can see from here. If not, you could just go to Taobao. It's convenient. Um, and th there are some pictures of the Asian culture street of Tianjin because the city has its traditional site. Uh, it remains a lot of uh, Asian culture architectures. And also it has its modern site. Um, here are some pictures of the modern city. So these are some information about the university and about the Tianjin city. Next part, I will pass, pass on to my colleague, Christina, to introduce the programs and a little bit about the campus dormitory. Thank you. Thank 
you, Tianzhen. Uh, so this is Christina, and I will be introducing the program information. And uh, I will now share my screen. Just wait a minute, please. So as you could see, um, so as Tianzhen mentioned, uh, we have the um, uh, partnership with uh, uh, Glasgow uh, University. Uh, so here is some background information about the uh, relationship. Uh, can you all see my screen? Can you hear yes. me? Yes. Everything good? Okay, cool. Yes. Uh, so uh, this is the background about the bar partnership. Uh, our partnership uh, was um, it was uh, approved by the Chinese Ministry of Education in uh, 2014. And uh, uh, we have been working together on research and teaching collaborations since 2008. And since 2015, we have started uh, recruiting students for their joint uh, programs. Um, and for the both sides of the universities, so uh, Qingzhen has just uh, talked about Nankai University, and now I'm gonna have a quick briefing about University of Glasgow. Uh, so the University of Glasgow was founded in 1451, as many of you have known it very well. Uh, it is uh, a, a based on the latest uh, QS ranking. It is uh, 67th, that is top 100 in the world and the top 20 in the UK. Um, and also it's, a uh, member of the uh, Russell Group of 24 leading uh, UK research universities. Uh, so this uh, joint program is obviously a very strong um, uh, collaboration between two pre prestigious and uh, uh, research, uh, research led university. Um, and uh, uh, the programs we have under this, uh, under this uh, uh, partnership uh, today um, is for four programs. Um, and before introducing the four programs, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, certificates you will be receiving. So uh, after uh, completing the four programs, uh, which are uh, uh, all graduate programs, you will have three certificates in your hand. Uh, that is two from Nankai University, uh, which is the regular uh, graduate degree program, a, a regular uh, graduate degree certificate, as well as a graduate, uh, uh, sorry, graduation certificate that, it, uh, that are both from Nankai University and also uh, the degree certificate from the University of Glasgow. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, we have some uh, uh, out of the sample certificates uh, you will be holding uh, when you complete uh, any of these uh, four programs. And now here is the briefing about the four programs. And the, uh, the first one is the graduate, uh, which is uh, obviously is a dual master's in international relations. So uh, in the first part of Tianjin's uh, briefing, uh, you may know that um, Nankai is very famous for its Jiwen Lai School of Government uh, that is, uh, uh, is named, as, named after uh, the very well-known uh, pri uh, premier Jiwen Lai uh, in, in China's history. Uh, so this program is very welcomed and uh, has been uh, well received by many students and we have very successful uh, alumni as well. Uh, so this is uh, the first one I want to introduce. Uh, so this program uh, provides you a rigorous grounding in the study of international relations, uh, relations politics, and development. Uh, it will equip you with the knowledge of methodologies appropriate to such study. And if you want to combine anything about uh, China or uh, any other uh, political issues uh, around the globe, then that is where you should seek the study for. And then the next one is the urban and regional planning. Uh, so this program uh, promotes a thorough understanding of how cities and regions function. Uh, as a graduate, uh, you, uh, this will allow you to make a real and positive difference to the social, environmental, and uh, economic welfare of towns, cities, and regions. 
so that is the urban regional planning. And the third one is translation studies. So uh, as you may have noticed, this has the highest uh, English requirements, which is IELTS uh, 7.5 with 7.5 in writing, uh, or equivalently a uh, TOEFL uh, 1.8 plus uh, 27 um, in uh, subscore. So this uh, requires the highest uh, English language proficiency. Uh, also, you need to have HSK level six, and also you may be required uh, to have an interview for the program. And so this is the requirement you may want to pay, pay attention to. Uh, that is the translation studies. And the last one is environmental science. Uh, so for environmental science, um, that draws the expertise in the College of Environmental Science and Engineering and the School of uh, Interdisciplinary Studies and the Geographical and Earth Sciences uh, at the University of Glasgow. So they uh, together represent a leading center in expertise in environment teaching and research. And they uh, work on issues dealing with the nature and urban environment, uh, including policies and practices for environmental sciences. So that is about um, environmental science, uh, which uh, comparatively uh, has a, a, a lower English requirement. Uh, so above, uh, as you can see, um, are the four uh, joint programs, which is also due uh, master's program that we have um, under the partnership between Nankai and the University of Glasgow. And then about the accommodation, a quick word about it. Uh, so here are some uh, sample pictures of the accommodation that is at housing uh, of on both campuses, as Ting Jun has mentioned. So the first two on um, uh, above uh, are the uh, pictures from Jinan campus. Uh, that is the new campus, which is uh, very well uh, facilitated with basically everything new. And you can see the bathroom and also your bedroom. And the, at the uh, Bali Thai campus, that is the city campus, uh, that is also, uh, also two pictures uh, down below there, uh, where you can see, uh, have a glimpse of it. So here is the accommodation. And uh, about the room fees, it will vary. Uh, depending on the room types. And you have the uh, fees here. And of course, if you want, you could also rent off-campus uh, apartments and our student service team on campus will help you uh, with uh, looking for information about that if you would like to. And then uh, the work opportunities, uh, I believe some of you are uh, determined to work in China after graduation. So I believe China is a perfect place for you to look for jobs or internships. And also, again, our student service team have some resources and also very good alumni uh, connections that you may be um, that you may uh, have to um, help you uh, look for the internship and also uh, job opportunities. So here are two uh, very successful graduates. Hi, Christina. Uh, uh, yes. Really sorry to cut your presentation, but the time is up and the next okay. university is actually waiting for her presentation. Yeah, sure. So this is the last so one. We can actually. just uh, wrap it up and like show the contact information so students can contact you after the session is done. Okay, sure. So uh, that's it uh, about uh, Nankai and here are two graduates. Uh, that's actually my wrap up. <laughs> and okay, please cool. feel free to reach me or uh, Ting Jen for further information. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Christina, for your time. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, Jerry, we can hear you. Okay, you. hello everyone. This is Jerry from the uh, International Admission and Cooperation Office of HUST. The first thing I would like to share a video of HUST. <laughs>
Okay, slide. Yes, Jerry. Okay, okay. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to HUSD. Okay, Sir John Lim of Huadong University of Science and Technology. So, firstly, uh, so why Wuhan? Because uh, HUSD is located in Wuhan, so you can see the Chinese map, right? So, host. HUST is located in Wuhan, the capital city of Hubei province of 11 million. It's considered as the political, economical, financial, cultural, educational center of central China uh, because it's home to 84 higher education institutions. Wuhan is the city with the largest number of college students, about over 1.26 uh, million in the world. As a translation center of central China, it's very convenient for you to travel to Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Hong Kong, and Chengdu. Yeah, about, I think if you take the bullet train about four hours. So the translation in Wuhan is very convenient. And Wuhan has become a population destination for international students because of the competitive higher education Convenient translation and lower living costs. And this is a picture of the Wuhan Optics Valley of China because Hast is the first advocator of the Optics Valley of the uh, concept and the technical en engine for its development. And uh, the Wuhan Optics Valley of China is considered as Chinese Silicon Valley. And uh, it's also the second national independent innovative demonstration zone. So there are many high-tech companies in this area. Okay, here are some pictures of Wuhan city. Uh, this uh, landmark of Wuhan, Yellow Creek Tower, and Yangtze River, it's the longest river in China. Okay, and the East Lake, very beautiful. Okay, second part about uh, YHST. And uh, here's uh, some rankings of HUST in 2000. Yes, 
Uh, first is Shanghai ranking. Yeah, Hasta ranks the number eight uh, in China among over 2,400 Chinese universities. And the US News, number nine. And the Times Higher Education World University Rankings, number, number nine. And this is a QS ranking about employer student collections worldwide. And HST ranks number one in the world. Okay, here are some figures and facts highlighting the skill and features of HUSD. So first, uh, there are two campuses and it covers uh, 470 hectares. Uh, so just now you can you saw the video, right? So because of uh, the Haas campus is covered uh, yeah, by many, many trees. So uh, it uh, is long as the Forest University. And uh, there are about more than 50,000 students at Haas. And among them, there are 3,600 international students. Okay, HST is a comprehensive and multiple discipline uh, research university covering 10 major disciplines. So among them, engineering and medicine are the highly competitive ones. And we are also very strong in science, management, economics, and some other social arts disciplines. And in all these fields, we offer a variety of degree programs at different levels. So 98 undergraduate programs, 201 master programs, and 188 PhD programs. So here are some very strong uh, programs at Haas. So A plus, uh, they are mechanical engineering, optical engineering, biomedical engineering, and public health and prevention medicine. And A, A level, yeah, journalism, communication, electrical engineering, computer science and technology, and A minus, yeah. So power engineering, engineer, and uh, control science and engineering, clinical medicine, in its administration, public administration. Okay, uh, so I would like uh, I want to introduce some famous alumni yeah, of HST. So can you see that this guy? Yeah, his name is Zhang Xiaolong, and uh, he is the father of WeChat. You know, WeChat is very popular in China. Yeah. It's very convenient for you to contact somebody. So Zhang Xiaolong graduated from HST, yeah. and his major uh, is uh, telecommunications. And Li Na, yeah, she's also famous because uh, she is the first and only Grand Slam singles champion, yeah, from Asia. And uh, and Zhou Ji, uh, Zhou Ji, uh, he was the former minister of. Uh, education of Ministry of GRC, and uh, they are very famous scientists. Uh, okay, and uh, they are also uh, famous uh, entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs such as Wang Chaoyong, Chen Zhongnian. Uh, okay, we are very proud of uh, proud to have a number of high level research facilities, including one national research center. Yeah, that is Wuhan National Laboratory for Optoelectronics. And uh, it's one of the initial five national laboratories authorized in November 2003 by the Ministry of Science and Technology of People's Republic of China and co-founded by the Ministry of Education. And uh, there are two national major science and technology in infrastructures, they are Wuhan National High Magnetic Field Center and High Pre uh, Precision Gravity Measurement Center. And uh, this is a National Innovation Institu Institute of Digital Design and Manufacturing. And some pictures of these research centers. Okay, uh, let's, it's about a Chao Tongji Medical College of HST. And uh, there are 10 affiliated hospitals yeah. And these 10 hospitals, 
played are uh, important roles in the battle against the COVID-19. According to CCTV, yeah, according to CCTV, HST ranks first among the domestic universities providing the most medical staffs, about 33,000 and hospital beds, about more than 8,900. Okay, here are some pictures of the, uh, these hospitals. This uni hospital, county hospital, and the UN hospital. And the uni hospital and county hospital are playing a leading role as modern comprehensive hospitals in the great fun functions of the clinical medicine service, teaching, scientific research, and training. It looks about uh, uh, interna interna uh, international education. So as I mentioned uh, in previous slides, there are 3,600 international students from 150 countries at heart. And we also offer a lot of English major programs. Yeah, there are 160 undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So there's no language barriers for student exchange. And we also offer scholarships, including Chinese government scholarship and Confucius scholarship. And the full scholarship covers uh, tuition fee, insurance, living stipend, and free accommodation. So if you want to know more information about scholarship, you can visit the official website of HUST. Yes, uh, last year, yeah, on September 7, the German chancellor visited the HUST and uh, she delivered a speech and uh, she prayed HUST as a forest university is a wealth of talents. Yes, these are some pictures. And yeah, pictures about uh, international students. International students, yeah. Okay. So if you want to know more information, you can contact us and this is the QR code of WeChat. So you can scan this code and follow us on WeChat. And you can also email to us, okay? It's email admission at hsd.edu.cn. And you can also visit the website, yeah. iso.hsd.edu.cn. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jerry, for your time and also for the wonderful information from Hus. So Hus is welcoming all of you to come and study in Wuhan in September 2020 because uh, they are offering a whole new, like a whole level of uh, programs like they are offering engineering and BBS and other programs. So it will be like a very good opportunity for you to come and study at Hus. So next up is going to be universities which are offering Chinese language books. So the first one on the list would be Tianjin International Chinese College or TICC and we're welcoming Ed from TICC to start uh, his presentation because he will tell you more about TICC and his program and about online Chinese language program which is a good opportunity for you right now. All right, thank you Nadia. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you perfectly Ed. Good. All right, thank you very much. Hello everyone. Um, good afternoon from Tianjin. My name is Ed, and I'm here to present Tianjin International Chinese College. And uh, let me share my screen now. Share. All right, now as the first school today, uh, well, before I go, I, I think um, it's a pleasure to be here today to present my school. And uh, I'd like to thank China Emissions for putting this wonderful open day together. Um, and as the first school to uh, talk about Chinese language programs, I'd like to do the opening a little bit differently. Uh, I think mostly we have been watching this webinar for almost an hour. And uh, let's take a break and watch a short video about Tianjin. In my opinion, if you decide to study overseas in a different country, you've got to love the city first. So let's take a look at about it.
All right. Well, I just spent three minutes out of my 12 to show you the video, which I think is worth it. So um, welcome to Tianjin. And uh, uh, I'm sure you will love the city. Do more research about it. And uh, I'm sure you will love it. And you love the food too. All right, about us. Um, we are Tianjin International Chinese College, TICC. Uh, we were founded in 2013. We are a Chinese language institution accredited by the Tianjin Municipal Education Commission. Our college offers Chinese language programs, university foundation program, test prep programs, and online programs, which I'll get to that um, in more details later. Obviously, we issue X1, X2 study visa to students worldwide, and this is our building. This is our school. Actually, uh, one of our students drew this picture on the left. As of today, we have served more than 20,000 students coming from 50 countries and regions, and I'm sure you will find your new friends and study pal here. Uh, just some of our pictures in the past. Um, this is our facility and our classroom. This is our Chinese class. Uh, we have small group, uh, big group, and one-on-one -on -one class, private lessons. Uh, this is actually our music class. And students are taking tests um, at the uh, right lower corner. All right, this is our um, Chinese culture activities. So you can actually create your own fans. Um, you can paint the Peking masks. Uh, you can do serve, serve teas and learn how to serve a tea in China. Um, and uh, play Gu Qing, Gu Zhen here as well. That's our talent show. We try to do that every year um, with our students. So we encourage them to show their talents as well. This is our sports contest. Um, this is our eighth year already. Uh, we, again, we do that once every year. All right, this is our full-time certified teachers. Every one of them are certified teaching Chinese as a second language teacher. Just to give you a quick example, um, Mr. Lucas Wang, uh, one of our teachers, a uh, very popular one. And uh, he has 14 years of teaching experience, over 8,000 teaching hours, and most importantly, his HSK4 passing rate remains 100%. Uh, he is our manager and also our lead teacher. Quick example. All right, let's talk about programs. Um, I know when, when you look at a, a school and, and view their programs, it could be a little bit difficult to see, okay, what should I choose? I should choose this one. What's the difference between those two? Um, I like to divide our programs using time period, all right? So we have short-term programs, which would last from two weeks to two months or three months, roughly. And uh, they're also called camps, right? So summer camps, winter, spring camps. Um, students will learn Chinese language and culture courses and go to field trips and excursions to get a few of pretty much everything in a relatively short period of time. Uh, what do you walk away with? You got basic Chinese and you got ex the experience, right? Which can help you decide, okay, what do I do next? Um, then we would have the long-term program, which will last at least six months, or in our case, one semester to 24 months, two years, all right? Students will learn Chinese language course in a more systematic approach. And or, and then we would prepare them to enter Chinese universities or colleges afterwards. Uh, we have many partner schools here in the region, in Tianjin area, which where students can get guaranteed admissions into those universities and choose their major from. Uh, again, what you walk away with the long-term program is a much more advanced Chinese level, also the experience to live in China. Uh, in some cases, uh, if you choose to, right, you will get the admissions, uh, guaranteed admissions into the top tier universities in China. Obviously, if you just want to study the Chinese, then you can choose our long-term program as well. 
All right, I like this picture. Keep calm and study online, right? So now you can do all our Chinese courses from your own home. You don't have to come to China. Um, we're introducing TICC online programs. Or you can have a try before commit to uh, come to China, right? Uh, we actually start doing this uh, from about three years ago. So we start to focus on language training through online classes uh, using technology. We have successfully opened our online classes in countries like United States, Canada, Australia, Sri Lanka, Philippines, Korea, and many other countries. And our teachers are teaching online classes to foreign students in a daily basis. All right, from February this year, given the uh, COVID-19 uh, situation, we have conducted online classes for more than 5,000 students, uh, ranging from one-on-one -on -one classes to a small group to large group classes. Uh, we do HSK classes, business Chinese, spoken Chinese, and Chinese writing and many other more. So you can see the pictures here and I'm gonna show a little bit more of that as well. So for online program, we have two different types, all right? The first one is on-demand class. We pre-record um, many classes. So you will be able to study on your own schedule at your own pace and probably with drinks and music maybe uh, that you like, right? Benefits, uh, it's a super affordable with only nine USD dollars to start with. Um, if you're not sure about Chinese or you're not sure about the scheduling of live class, or if you just want to have a try before you commit more time and effort in the language or coming to China. And this is a pretty good start. And, and it's very fun to start with. Um, besides that, we offer small group or one-on-one -on -one life class. Uh, if you're ready to take your Chinese level to a, to a Chinese study to another level or interact with our full-time teachers, uh, you can choose our small group or one-on-one -on -one life class. Benefits, it's still very affordable with only $3.5 to $20 per class study package. Um, and you'll be able to study Chinese in a more systematic approach at a schedule that you prefer. You'll be able to meet with new friends and our teacher on a regular basis. Most importantly, you get your homework graded, your question answered by our teacher, you will receive feedback. It's important in language learning. All right, some of our on-demand class, we just wanna show you guys, um, this is what we've done in the past. We have TICC business class, we have HSK level four key vocabulary classes, and this is just a screenshot of all this, uh, some of our videos that we made. This is our live classes. Uh, again, uh, for small group classes, uh, we would cap it at 10 people, right? So ranging from one on one to one to 10, um, this is our live classes. All right, so again, let us do what we do best. The last slide, this is our courses. We have HSK one through six regular class. HSK4 Pass Guaranteed program, which is a pretty cool program if you want to try. We actually did a trail class together with China Missions, and you can see the video on their website as well. We have Business Chinese, Survival Chinese. Uh, we have Authentic Chinese in Daily Life classes and Speaking and Writing Chinese. With that being said, thank you for your time. Again, um, everything is included at China Missions website. And uh, if you have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you. Thank you, Ed, for the wonderful presentation. So guys, do not forget, if you want to learn Chinese, you can just join the online courses by Tianjin International Chinese College. So next up, we'll be having, uh, we'll be having Hutong School, who will start the presentation. Yes, hello. Good afternoon, everybody, or depending on where you are, good morning. If you're in Europe, uh, let me see. I'm just going to see how to share my screen here. Yes. There we are.
is this all right in terms of uh, share screen option, Nadia? Yes, it's okay, Jen. I'm going to put it on full screen. That's going to be better, probably. Oops, I'm on the last slide. That shouldn't be the case. There we go. All right, yes, so welcome everybody. Uh, very happy to have the opportunity here today to tell you all a little bit more about Hutong School, which is one of the leading private Chinese institutes in China and actually with a lot of uh, locations around the world as well. Um, so first, a few quick words about myself. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Hutong School, which is a project that we started back in 2005. Um, I was born and raised in Flanders, Belgium, uh, where I studied economics first, uh, but actually my my interest already from, uh, from high school already was learning Chinese. So after that, I decided to get started with learning Chinese. I first went to Wuhan, which was a city, of course, back then, talking about 20 years ago, nobody had heard about. That's a little bit different nowadays. Uh, later, I moved on to Xiamen to study a little bit more there. And then finally, uh, I studied another semester in Shanghai before actually setting up Hutong School. Uh, and currently I'm the managing director of Hutong School, so I oversee uh, all the operations that we have uh, both in China as well as different cities around the world. Now, a few words about Hutong School itself. Uh, so as I mentioned, we were founded in 2005. Uh, we actually started in Beijing in a little alley, which is called a Hutong, uh, which most of you know probably. Uh, and that's of obviously where we got the name from. So originally we were based in a traditional Chinese courtyard in the Beijing uh, Hutongs, and that's from where we further expanded to different locations across the world. Currently we have 14 schools uh, worldwide, including seven in China, and I'll mention which cities uh, later on when I talk more specifically about the programs that we offer. Uh, and we offer <laughs> programs, the two flagship programs is the intensive Chinese program and the internship program. We have some other programs as well, like a summer program, a family program, more specific uh, uh, trips on uh, specific sectors like uh, IT or hospitality and so on. Uh, but I'm not going to talk about those during uh, this presentation. I'll focus more purely on the intensive Chinese and the internship program. Um, and furthermore, we also developed our in-house teaching methodology and our own textbooks, uh, which we've developed uh, not from the beginning, but only after, uh, I would say, about eight years of uh, experience uh, teaching foreign students Chinese that we thought, okay, now with this experience, it's time to put this actually uh, in writing and uh, consolidate all our, all our knowledge on the best way to learn Chinese in our own textbook series. So the intensive Chinese program, uh, a quick rundown of what this program is about. Um, oops, yeah, so uh, first, well, the cities where you can take it, uh, you see them here, Beijing, Shanghai, Hangzhou, Chengdu, Zhengzhou, and Chongqing. Uh, obviously, most people choose for Beijing and Shanghai to get started. Uh, and then I would say more expert, expert learners would move on to Hangzhou, Chengdu, uh, Zhengzhou or Chongqing to actually put their Chinese really into practice in those cities that are, let's say, more overwhelmingly Chinese than Beijing and Shanghai are. Uh, I would say for a starter, it's recommended to choose Beijing and Shanghai because it's a little bit easier to sort of get used to the country. Uh, and also the fact that you don't speak much Chinese yet uh, makes it a little bit easier if then right away you start in a place like Zhengzhou, for example, uh, you might find it very tough. And it, it's not necessarily helpful that you have a 100% Chinese environment if your own big level is still beginner. I mean, you need a break from time to time from Chinese. So that's why uh, I think Beijing and Shanghai offer quite good uh, uh, environments to get started. What we offer is uh, the classical formula, four hours a day, five days a week. So that's 20 hours a week. Um, Apart from that, you can also take some tutoring sessions uh, in the afternoon, which are free. You simply need to book them with, uh, with the available teachers. And we also have a lot of online support that I'm going to talk about uh, later on. The length of this program is anywhere between one week to 12 months. So it's really up to you to see how much time you can uh, free up to learn Chinese. And I'll show you in a moment how far you can get also, depending on your choice. Uh, I would say most people would choose this program for a semester. So starting in September, October, all the way till... Christmas or Chinese New Year, or starting in February all the way till summer. But there's also people who choose a shorter course in summer, for example, one or two months uh, to get their Chinese to a next level uh, intensively during the summer months, or simply also other holidays during the year. Any two or three week period you have, I think, can be very useful to improve your Chinese level. Uh, and our, what's specific about our program is that we really try to tailor it to the students' level and aims. So we work with very small groups, 
and there's a lot of uh, flexibility in terms of how we teach and, and the things you want to learn, especially when you move on to the HSK4 level and become an intermediate uh, speaker. And I'm going to show that in a moment on our level chart. Uh, next, to the culture, next to the classes, rather, we also offer a broad range of cultural activities and excursions. We actually have about two or three activities every week. Um, the aim of that is twofold. I think on the one hand, it's great to, to learn a lot about China, different aspects of China through these activities. Uh, on the other hand, it's also a great way of building up your social network and getting to know the other people uh, at the school. So highly recommended to join all these activities as well. Now, a quick word about our level system. Now, this is a lot of information in one slide and we're a little bit short on time, so I won't uh, go through it in detail. But basically, as you can see, we've defined 12 levels ourselves which is more than the six uh, official levels that exist currently for HSK, although that will be reformed as well. Um, this we break down in three big blocks, which you can see here. There's the foundation phase uh, all the way to HSK three. Then there's the intermediate stage where the goal is really to become proficient. And then there's HSK five and six that are really about reaching perfection. Now, if you're an absolute beginner or you had some basic learning, uh, basic, basic studying already, then I would say, your goal, your first goal should be to get to HSK3 so that you cover all the basics, all the foundation, and then next HSK4. Now, whether you continue or not after HSK4 depends a bit on yourself. I would say that if you reach HSK4, you really can start using uh, Mandarin in a professional context, uh, in daily life, in all situations. And so um, that's actually the useful level. If you want to specialize further, because, for example, you want to be able also to translate or you want to read newspaper articles, you want to understand the TV news, then it can be very useful to move on also to HSK 5 and 6. Uh, but you will have to spend a bit more time on it. So to get from HSK from zero all the way to HSK four and reach that level of proficiency, uh, you need maximum eight months, but actually some students do it in five months as well. Um, I would say if you can free up one year of your life, and if you're all young people, I think you know that's a, that's a rather small sacrifice. It's a small investment from which you will be able to benefit for the rest of your life. But invest one year of your life in learning Chinese and you will reach a level that you can use for the rest of your life. Because the risk is a little bit, if you only learn beginner Chinese here, or elementary that if then you don't use it for one or two years, you actually forget it again. Whereas if you reach this proficiency level, HSK4, um, then you really acquire a level that you won't forget ever again. Now, something specific about our method, which is very different from what universities do, is that we make a very clear separation between the speaking part and the reading part um, by introducing the characters only very gradually. So you see here in HSK 1, 2, and 3, characters are not that important yet, and they become only very important here from HSK 4 onwards, because then you start learning so many words that have similar or even identical uh, pronunciation. And so if you don't understand uh, the characters that lie behind it, it will limit your understanding. However, from HSK 1 to 3, it's actually perfectly possible to learn Chinese without characters. Now, saying that, uh, Chinese people feel very shocked when I say something like that, because obviously that's not the way they learn Chinese. And it's also not the way I learn Chinese at university, because all my university professors thought that didn't make sense. But it makes a lot of sense, actually. And if you include all the characters from the beginning, you're actually creating a lot of obstacles for people to learn Chinese, whereas you can actually progress in spoken Chinese very quickly because it has the easiest grammar in the world. So that's why we really focus on opinion and character recognition in the beginning. And the actual writing only follows by the end of HSK3 going into HSK4, that's when writing uh, becomes important. Now, I could talk a lot longer about this, but we're a little bit short for time, so I'll move on to the next program now, which is our internship program. Um, so that's the second flagship program that we offer. The internship program is um, available in a vast range of cities, as you can see here as well. Uh, obviously, um, if you don't speak Chinese yet, again, Beijing and Shanghai are recommended because there it's a lot easier to find companies, both international and Chinese, where you have sufficient staff that speaks also English. Uh, if you move on to those second tier cities, then it's very important that you have, uh, I would say, an intermediate level, level of Chinese already. Um, you can get experience, professional experience in any sector of your choice. So we have a very uh, broad range of sectors available uh, from anywhere from the more classic business areas like marketing, sales, consulting, and so on, but also more specific areas like people who study law or IT or engineering and so on. Uh, we can get you a tailored experience that matches your, uh, what you're looking for. 
This program comes with four hours a week of Chinese classes as well. Uh, so obviously less intensive than the actual Chinese program, uh, but four hours a week still allows you to get the basics uh, that you can use then in daily life. And maybe uh, is something that uh, also gives you a taste of Chinese language and that you then decide later on uh, you, wanna, you wanna learn more about that. The length of this program is about one to six months. Uh, ideally, I would say an internship is ideally three months because for one month it's a little bit short for a company also to invest in you. Whereas if they know that you're gonna be around for at least three months, then of course in the beginning they will give you a lot more training as well because they feel this is well based on the time that you're gonna spend there. Six months uh, is even better. If it's longer than six months, obviously the company should simply offer you a job instead of having you as an intern permanently. Now, why an internship in China can be a really good idea to get started in China, it, because this gives you the opportunity to build up uh, a network, uh, which can be very useful later on to find an actual job, uh, because China still functions a lot by guanxi, by relations, uh, and so building up that network is really important. But if you don't have, if you're just a student, let's say if you don't have that professional identity yet, that's a little bit harder. Whereas you're, if, if you're an intern, you can join all kinds of networking events and you have that first professional identity. You have that first experience on your CV in China uh, and that will really be valuable for future employers. Then next to these two flagship programs, I wanna give you a little bit of information also about our online offer, which obviously we've been developing already before COVID-19, but we've accelerated a lot since then. Um, so there's basically two ways in which you can learn Chinese online through Hutong School. One is through our Zoom group classes, and the other one is through our Hutong School app, which you can also download for free uh, on iOS and Android. Um, the app also contains a lot of free self-paced content and exercises. Um, so I would say just download it, depending on your level, uh, select the right, uh, the right content for you and start practicing. And I think uh, this can be really useful just to do 10, 15 minutes a day uh, to, stay, uh, to stay up to speed with your Chinese. The flexible uh, schedule, of course, for the private classes. So on the app, you can simply select your preferred time slot. Uh, then based on that, teachers will go up that preferences and you can get started. Now, why choose us to wrap up? Um, there's a few reasons. I can only list five here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, first, so we've been around for 15 years. That makes us one of the oldest Mandarin schools uh, around in China, uh, because before 2005, uh, those schools simply didn't exist. And the only option really was to go study at university, which as I mentioned, has a few uh, drawbacks because you're often far out of the city. Uh, you are learning in big groups and there's not a lot of tape uh, depending on your own level and your interests. Uh, second uh, reason to choose Hutong School is that there's this broad range of programs. So you can perfectly start with the internship program and then move on to intensive Chinese program or the other way around. Uh, you can also have flexible periods. So you can come, uh, let's say a few weeks during uh, Easter holiday, then you continue during, uh, during the summer holiday. In between, you can start learning online. So we can be with you uh, all the way uh, on your journey of becoming proficient in Mandarin. A third reason is that we have a very experienced and trained team of certified teachers who, of course, all trained in our own uh, proprietary Hutong School methodology, uh, which I think is much more fast or much more efficient than uh, the classical method that is being used at universities. Uh, and we have an alumni community of more than 5,000 satisfied students, through which uh, you can, of course, get in touch with them as well through LinkedIn, and those can be valuable connections as well for developing your future career, which is also something that we care a lot about at Hutong School, because learning Mandarin by itself is incredibly interesting, incredibly uh, rewarding, but of course it's even better if you can also then uh, use it professionally in the future and, and use that skill that you worked so hard to acquire uh, to actually earn some money as well at some point. Uh, and a final reason is that we have a lot of university partnerships around the world as well, uh, which shows that we are a trusted partner for them, not only for the intensive Chinese program, but also for the internship program. So thank you very much. Uh, if you want more information about Hutong School, obviously you can get in touch with China Admissions. You can have a look on our website as well, of course, uh, if you want some more information. But uh, China Admissions is, of course, the right channel then to sign up for our program. So thank you very much. Thank you also, Nadia, for this invitation. It was my pleasure being here. And I hope uh, everybody in the audience that you learned a little bit more about Hutong School and that I got you excited about starting to learn Chinese. Thank you. Thank you, Jen, for your time and also for the presentation. So yeah, don't forget, if you guys want to learn Chinese, then go to Hutong School as well. So you can also go for 
their uh, schools located in the big cities in China or even choose to study online. Okay, so next up we'll be having uh, Dad's Mandarin uh, who will present and share more information about learning Chinese at Dad's Mandarin School. Hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, okay, hello. Hello, my name is Abigail. I present That's Mandarin. And before I, I introduce That's Mandarin, I, I want to say thank you for China Admission to give this um, wonderful opportunity to introduce That's Mandarin for all of you. Um, and, and before I introduce, I want to show uh, one, one, min one minute video to you. Um, I don't know where. Can you, can you, so, sorry, one, one minute. Okay, so, so I will first introduce about that Mandarin and uh, show you a video later. Uh, that Mandarin School was founded in 2000 education among students. It, it's growing more and more. So far, that Mandarin um, has around 3,000 students yearly. And we have four schools located in Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. And the program we offer is we offer online classes, offline classes, chance camp, and school trips, um, and and all of them have long term and short term short short term options. And why should you choose that Mandarin? That's a good question. First, I would like to say mm, we have very good teachers. All the that Mandarin teachers are full time, and before they join that Mandarin. All of them will get a three months full-time training. And so we guarantee all the that's Mandarin are in a high teaching quality. And all of them know, uh, know how to use the unique teaching methodology methodologies in that Mandarin. One of our unique teaching methodology is LinkWord. Uh, we link something similar together and help new, new starter to remember the new words and the pronunciation. For example, to love in Chinese is I, and it, it sounds like I in English. So this picture and this sentence will help you to remember this character. And also T in, chi in Chinese is Cha, sounds like Charlie. Charlie drinks tea will help you remember this word. And, and, that's man, and at that Mandarin, we created an online learning system called Ni Hao Cafe. All the learning materials and, and students' notes are recorded in this system. Ni Hao Cafe is an interactive platform for learning Chinese using HS is an HSK graded story with 64 lessons, which starts six to HSK three. In each lesson, students will learn the vocabulary and grammar in a video. And the videos are our own TV series that we produced at the end of last year, featuring over 40 locations and 70 actors. The main two actors, the, the main actors are two foreigners and the two of their Chinese friends. And together, they solve all kinds of problems in China, from renting an apartment and hiring an AI to organizing birthday parties and taking their pets to the wet. Here, here are the, some articles in, in Ni Hao Cafe and the Chinese characters. Once the students finish the video series, they can move on to intermediate levels. We have different kind of resources for them. Translation course and video course are the students' favorites. 
And finally, for advanced learners, our system supports a vast pool of learning resources that the teacher can use to build a customized plan for learners. So you can see all the topics here. And besides that, we also have classes for kids. Uh, we have we have one one online classes for kids and also Chinese camp or school trips. Okay, uh, okay. So so right now I will try to uh, to share the video video with you. Okay, so sorry guys, I, I, I cannot um, share the videos with you, but, but I will give, give this video to China Admission, so they can share this video to you later on, on their website. Mm. And, and we published one minute, one minute Chinese classes in uh, WeChat, Facebook, um, and Instagram. So if you are interested to watch these videos, you can scan this QR code in WeChat or just follow us in Facebook. Um, you can search that Mandarin and follow us there. So you, you, can, you can watch all these videos. Um, and here is the content information. That's our website and the email address. You can, you can contact us. You can contact China Admission directly or contact that Mandarin. Mm, and ha and uh, uh, all of you will get one free trial class. Thank you for choosing that Mandarin. Thank you for your time. Hi, Abigail. Thank you so much for the presentation. So don't worry about the video. Abigail can just send it over to us and then we can also post it on uh, China Admissions YouTube channel, for example, and also our blog so students can also watch the video that cannot be played today. So okay. next up, mm -hmm. we'll be having uh, Beijing University Chemical Technology presenting. So yeah, so yeah, let's wait for the teacher to uh, get ready to join and then share her presentation. So yeah, a little bit about uh, Beijing University of Chemical Technology. So basically, this university is located in Beijing, China. And also they offer a wide range of uh, degree programs like bachelor and also master's program in English. And then uh, they also offer Chinese language program. So yeah, I think if the teacher of Beijing University of Chemical Technology is ready to start her presentation, then please the time and place is short. So you can just uh, present right away. <laughs> Hear the share of screen. Can you please share your screen? It's not yet shared, but yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, hello. First, uh, I'm going to hear. As long Hello, teacher. Are you there? But I cannot share my screen. 
yeah, I think it shouldn't be a problem. If you have uh, any issues on sharing your screen, you can uh, later, you can just uh, send over your PPT and we can also edit the video and edit on the video and post it on our YouTube account or on our social media account. So students can also get information from the PPT as well. Uh, so can you hear the uh, can you see the PPT now? Um, no, I sorry I cannot see the PPT now. Uh, so can you hear the uh... um. Uh, I'm sorry, maybe okay. Uh, okay, so uh, maybe just uh, listen to me. Yes. Uh, so, uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm glad to here to represent Beijing University of Chemical Technology. Uh, so today my uh, my speak will include five parts. And the first is a, a brief introduction about BUCT. The second is our online Chinese program. Uh, the third is other programs, uh, includes long and short term programs. Uh, number four is how to apply. And uh, number five is about campus life. And so, this is a technology founded in 1958. It is one of the China's key institutions directly under the Ministry of Education. And Center of International Education of Chinese Language started to recruit short and long-term language students since 1993. And so until now, there have been over 5,000 overseas students from about 17 countries. So every year, about more than 200 international students studied Chinese language here in our university. And uh, uh, due to the epidemic uh, this year, we already provided online Chinese program to our students and which got a good feedback. So next semester from September, we will also provide online Chinese program to our students. So uh, we provide three kinds of Chinese programs. The first is preparatory courses. Uh, which is will help you to enter your bachelor studies. It, uh, it, it has 896 class hours, uh, about eight months from September until next July. And the fees is uh, 16,050, uh, 500. Uh, the second is the Chinese learning courses. Uh, uh, which uh, include four months and 320 uh, 20 class hours. And the fees of the Chinese, uh, Chinese learning course, this is 8,250 uh, 8, yuan. And the third is HSK uh, courses. Uh, it includes two parts. The first is from uh, elementary to HSK level three. And the second is from HSK level three to HSK level four, which include three months and 220 class hours. And the fees for this HSK courses is, uh, is 6,000 uh, RMB. And the second is online Chinese programs. Uh, why you choose BUCT? First, we have strong uh, teacher team and uh, scientific teaching arrangements. 
The second, uh, you can in, enjoy flexible in when and where to take class. And third, uh, full communication and in-depth collaboration guidelines from BUCT and your teachers, your classmates. Then, as low learning cost and rich learning content. Mm, the, uh, the part three is about other programs. So every, uh, every semester, we will hold the uh, short-term students and uh, we, we, can, uh, we can design special programs be, uh, depends on your demands. Uh, for example, and last year, in uh, 2019, we held a summer, uh, a, a summer camp, uh, which, uh, which we, uh, we invited about 200 students to come to BUCT. And the activities include uh, sightseeing tour, trans culture, trans language, uh, academic lecture, and enterprise tour. So, uh, welcome to BUCT to attend our long and short time programs. Um, part four is about apply to study in BUCT. Uh, uh, later, maybe I can send you the uh, website uh, about uh, ap apply to BUCT, and you can uh, up, uh, up, uh, uploading your applicants materials for apply BUCT, and then to uh, send to our email box. And uh, the last part is some beautiful pictures about BUCT campus, um, but as a PD, uh, maybe you cannot see it. And uh, at last, I want to share a real Chinese online Chinese courses uh, by our teachers uh, this semester. Uh, so, I will try again to, uh, to share this. Hope you can see it. Uh, hello, teacher. Uh, can, you, can you see the screen now? Okay, really sorry. I think there's some problems with my computers. Okay, uh, thank you everyone for attention. And if we have uh, the opportunity later, I will send a video to the um, um for to the other teachers and. Um, to whether we can share to you. Okay, thank you for all of you. Uh, thank you, teacher, for your time and also for the presentation. And yes. Uh, you can share the video to us and then we can also add it to the video later on so students who cannot watch today's presentation or those who are here online today but cannot see your ppd because of the technical issue can also see it later so don't worry about it okay. because we will share it yeah but yeah really great presentation and thank you for your time and for your uh, explanation and sharing with us some of the programs offered by BUCT. Yeah, I think next up, because uh, all of the universities have presented in today's session, except for Wuhan University, because uh, there is some technical issues with Wuhan University teacher. That's why they will just share the presentation later. So to sum up today, uh, to, sum up, to sum up of the two days online event day, I think 
uh, I can start and then sharing more information with you about how to apply on Chang Admissions website. And also for those of you who missed today's session, don't worry, we will share it later on our YouTube account. And also for Wuhan University's uh, videos and also for the BUCT's presentation, don't worry about it. We will share it online to all the students who registered for today's online open day. So next up, I'll share with you on how to apply on Chang Admissions because definitely this is the most important uh, factor. This is the most important topic of today's online open day. The first one is why China admissions. So there are basically three reasons why you have to choose China admissions. The first one is that because China admissions is free of charge, which means that we don't charge any service free to help you apply. It is 100% free because we're funded by the universities, but all you need to do is to pay for the application fee as required by the university. And please note that this is only applicable for those of you who are going to apply on a self-finance basis. And then Chart Admissions is a one platform for all, which means that you can search and also apply to multiple Chinese universities in just one platform, in just one click on Chart Admissions website. And then after that, current missions are very responsive and then we are reachable anytime and our average response time is about 9 hours, 10 minutes. So we are reachable anytime on WhatsApp, WeChat, email, or even on our social media accounts as well. So feel free to contact us anytime you need our help. And if you want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation, one-on-one -on -one call with us to, you know, like share your story, share your plan about studying in China, please do so because we are very happy to hear your plan and to help you and guide you with the whole uh, application to Chinese universities. And then I'll share with you about uh, the application process and how to complete the application. So first of all, uh, what you need to do is you need to choose the program that you want to apply for. And then what you need to do next is to apply online. And after you apply online, then you can complete the online application by filling in the required uh, personal information, such as your name, your education background, your working background, and then after that, you can complete the documents because there are several required documents that you need to complete in order, your, uh, in order for your application to be accepted by the university. For example, photo, passport, and then your uh, graduation diploma, your transcript, and so on. And last but not least, you need to pay the application fee because application fee payment is actually required by the university to process your application and also to send the paperwork to the to send the visa paperwork back to your home country so you can apply for your visa and then after that your application is successfully submitted. So first of all, you can just simply search for programs on China Admissions website. You can so you can go to the site apply.chinadesadmission.com/search where it will lead you to this page over here where uh, there are about 2,500 programs listed on our platform that we can help you apply for. So for example, I will show you that I'm applying for the MBA program at SEED, China Europe International Business School. So yeah, this is, uh, after you click the apply there, and then this is where it goes. So it will lead you to another page where you can find detailed information about SEED's MBA program or other universities program. And you can see the application deadline, the application fee, the tuition fee, and also the teaching language and the location of the university. So once you set your mind on this, then you can just uh, simply click the apply now button where it will lead you to here. Uh, if you already have an account on China Admissions platform, you can just simply sign in. But if you don't, if you're a new user, you can just simply create a new account. It's very simple. All it takes is 10 seconds. Uh, you can just fill in your email address over there. And then you can fill in your first name, last name, and create a passport. And please uh, choose the nationality as well. So after that, you can fill in the application. So fill in your personal information, like your name, your birth date, your address, and also your uh, education background, your working experience, and all that. After that, you can complete the application documents. So if you have arrived to this page, there will be a list of the required documents that you need to upload and you need to complete. And then after that, uh, you can go on to the payment page to complete the application fee payment and then your application is successfully submitted on China Admissions website and we will start processing and submitting your application to the universities that you're applying for. And then uh, this is the application process. So what to do after the application submission? Because I know that some of you are actually a bit uh, confused because what, what do you have to expect after you completed your application? So 
After that, yes, we will submit your application to the university and then we will wait for the university's decision, which is either to accept you or to reject you. And then if you're accepted, you are required to pay the deposit fee to the university. Basically, this is to secure your seat, to show that you're really interested and you are really want to come to study there. And then after that, the university will send the visa form, JW302 form, and also the admissions notice to your home address so you can apply for the visa at the Chinese embassy and then fly to China. And here are more updates. So if you want to uh, get to know more about the online courses, there are a lot of like free trial Chinese language courses, for example, or like free seminars about uh, the Chinese businesses or about marketing and stuff. So you can just simply go to the, this website to china-admissions.com slash online dash program slash classes. So you can just uh, screenshot this page because the web link is a bit long. So you, you may not be, you may not be able to remember everything. So just screenshot this page and then uh, you can go on to this page later and then browse some of the updated online updated upcoming online classes that are offered by China Admissions or by our partner universities, for example, Shanghai Chaotong University, PITV, or uh, Hutong School, that's Mandarin if there's any. So yeah, we will update you regularly on our blog. And the next step, if you want to get more information as well about the updates on China, about the updates on the MBA admissions in China, for example, or MBBS admissions in China, admissions, so you can just go to our blog, which is to china-admissions.com slash blog where you can get all sort of updates on what happened in China and then what happened at the Chinese universities, what's the recent updates that you need to know. We will always share it regularly to everyone who is interested. And then I know that a lot of you are asking about the situation for the September 2020 intake because of the pandemic, right? Because of the COVID-19 pandemic. So a lot of you are wondering whether or not the September 2020 intake will be held and at the Chinese university or not, whether the admission process is going on or not. So yes, the first one, uh, the update is admission for the September 2020 intake is ongoing, which means that you can and you are welcome to apply for the, uh, for the programs, for the courses like bachelor, master, PhD, or any courses that are offered for the September 2020 intake and also for the application deadline. Please note for the application deadline because it will uh, come, uh, it will be over very soon because most of the application deadline will be at the end of June or like early July. So if you really want to start your study in September 2020, then I really suggest you to finish your application today or like, you know, probably tomorrow, the last, because, because like I said, uh, that's the deadline and you cannot submit your application after the deadline. So if you really want to come, if you really want to study in September, please finish your application. And then next question would be, uh, will the classes be held online or will it be held at the Chinese universities? About that, uh, actually we're still waiting for the official information from the Chinese government as well as from the university about this whole arrangement because as everybody know, China's border is still currently closed for foreigners, so they cannot let new foreigners coming into the country. But yeah, we're hoping to get some positive news from Chinese government about this because we look forward to seeing all of you guys to come and study in China and then to meet us in China as well. So yeah, if let's say the border is not open by September or like before September, I think the Chinese universities will make some adjustments, for example, uh, making the online classes accessible for all students during the first semester and then students can come to China after the border is open. So yeah, because right now there is no official information about this yet. So I think what you need to do, what you can do is basically to wait for the official information from the Chinese government and also from the Chinese universities because they both will update you regularly because uh, it is true that they are also very keen to see you and come and learn together in China. And then if you have more questions about, you know, like programs offered by Chinese universities, or maybe you are still confused about admissions, about scholarship, about basically any information about studying in China, feel free to connect with us with China Admissions. You can connect with me, Nadia, or you can also connect with my colleague, Didier Frank. Uh, you can also, uh, you can email us on their email address over there or send me a WhatsApp message, or you can also follow us on our social media accounts because we do uh, send regular updates on our social media accounts as well. For example, 
the our Facebook account, our Instagram account, our YouTube account, LinkedIn account, Twitter, and if you are in China or probably if you're not in China but you have WeChat account, please do follow us on our WeChat official account as well. If you still have more questions, feel free to message us anywhere like on email or WhatsApp and also you can also schedule a call with me. Just drop me an email to schedule a call with me and that's it. We look forward to seeing you coming to China and we look forward to uh, welcome you with a great experience on studying in China. I think next up, my colleague will share with you the videos from Dutch Mandarin and also from Wuhan Universities. And then, uh, because they cannot, they cannot share the video earlier, so yeah, please stay tuned because the video will be shared very soon and it is very exciting information for you guys. Thank you. Yeah, I think this is the preview of the Wuhan University's uh, videos that will be shared to you after this online open day session is ended. And then we can share with you the full version of the video where you can see it by yourself and then you can just simply listen to the video as well. So that's the end of the online open day. So go check out, uh, we will share with you the videos from Wuhan University and also that's Mandarin. And please also do check out Putong School's awesome videos on their YouTube channel, because you can see a lot more about studying uh, Chinese language in China from their video. So I think that's it to wrap up. Thank you so much for uh, joining today's Chinese University's online open day, and we look forward to seeing you studying in China one day, and so we can finally meet it in China. Thank you. Bye.